Um, now, the question here is when can we make mature decisions? And this one is, is one of my favorite questions because um, there's this idea um, that, <laughs> I, I love this, that I don't even, I really sincerely don't know what maturity means. Um, clearly, if you've listened to anything I've had to say, you have come to that conclusion. Um, I study teenagers because I'm trying to get out of adolescence myself. Um, so there's this construct of maturity, and apparently um, people believe development just moseys on along, and you hit 18, and then you're mature. All set. Um, well, it turns out that actually life doesn't work that way. Um, at 16, we tell kids in most states, um, you know what, we trust you with a thousand pounds of steel that can go about a hundred miles an hour. Um, you're, you're, you're adult enough, you're close enough, here are the keys, go ahead and drive. But do not try to vote in that car or have sex in that car because you're too young. Um, 17 is the age of consent in most states and you have to be 18 to vote. So when you're 18, you become an adult. You can enlist, you can vote. But you can't really go celebrate the election because um, you're not allowed to consume alcohol because you're not an adult. Okay, so that's 21. So is that it? At 21, do we finally say, okay, you are a full-fledged adult? We don't, because there's one thing you still can't do at 21 that a lot of 22, 23-year-olds want to do. Rent a car. We don't let that happen until 25. Um, and I'll tell you why because insurance companies have a lot more information than scientists. <laughs> it's true. And money is the bottom line. They have thousands and thousands of data points, and accidents drop precipitously after the age of 25. And isn't it funny that after the age of 25, when you look at studies of endocrine function and brain maturation, that things actually kind of level out after that? So it may be 25. Um, why so long? This is a social construction. Puberty is biology. Adolescence is a social construction of that biology. In the United States, we're prolonging that experience, prolonging it through college, prolonging it through um, uh, lack of experience uh, with the world. Keeping our children safe is also keeping them out of harm's way, but is also keeping them from learning things. 